Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fujisen Junior Weekly Recap. In these episodes, I talk about what happened throughout my week and just talk to you through the camera. So if you guys like it, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And let's get going. So this week was pretty much uneventful. I didn't do much. It was more of a relaxing at home type week. So Monday, per usual, started school. We worked on behavior a lot on Monday. I do clearly remember this because they came back and for some reason they forgot their classroom expectations, our routines, and it was just disrespectful to me or they're being disrespectful towards me as a teacher. Um, it was just not the way I wanted our Mondays to be. So we had to have like a little closing circle where we had like to talk, go over expectations, what we should work on how we can make it better. And it was like a teaching moment for myself too, that I can't really expect too much yet. You know, we're still developing, working on all those things. School just started, it's been like three, four weeks now. And there's still eight, nine year olds. So we just gotta build on that. And I have to be flexible and sometimes accommodating to those things. And Tuesday, we just had class, you know, per usual and then Later that night, I had a soccer game with my teammate from uh, my pickup team. And then I also had two of my club soccer team that used to play with me back in college come to the game as well to play. And yeah, it was a fun game. It was like the opponent was way better than the time that we had a scrimmage against another team. Unfortunately, we lost 0-3. It wasn't the pe best performance we had. I personally played pretty well. There was one occasion where I should have marked my opponent, but I lost track because of just ball watching. And I don't want to make excuses, so yeah, that was on me. Besides that, I played pretty well. Yeah, it was an unfortunate day. I wish we won, at least scored a goal maybe, but it just didn't go the way we wanted to. And yeah, congrats to the opponent for winning. But it was good catching up with my boys, playing soccer together on the same pitch again. And also, you know, continuously blending in with my team, getting comfortable, getting more touches and all that. So that was fun. Wednesday was a half day for us, but we had open house, which is basically parents coming in, just understanding more of the curriculum, what they can do at home. I was able to meet with most of the parents from my class. Some of them didn't show up, but that's okay. We talked about, you know, things that they could work on. I had like pack packets for them to bring home and all that so that the students can get more practice. I know some parents were curious about how the, their kids are doing in school, but you know, that's more for conference time. And we're doing testing as well. So I know some parents are also wondering how their students are doing and everything, but. You know what, to be honest, they just have to be patient because there's so much on my plate as well and they'll get their results soon and I can share it with the parents as soon as I get them, so. Yeah, and then conferences will come later on and it'll be it'll be good once I get to really talk with the parents one-on-one. -on -one, they'll make it much better, so. I'm excited for that. Um, a little nervous per usual, you know, parents obviously. It's a little scary because I don't want to make a fool of myself. I don't want to disappoint them. I want to make sure that the students are engaged and learning. And there's like a lot of responsibility as a teacher. So, and whatever happens in school, it's going to be the parents, or not the parents, the teacher's fault. So I'm going to make sure that I am at my top game, you know, in my A game, doing all the things I need to, teaching them, teaching the students what they need to learn. And yeah, just build a positive relationship with them. And Thursday, I didn't do much. Again, it's just another teaching day. Thursday was also a little unfortunate with the behavior. Um, it was really sad that I had to really stop them once during the lesson to really talk through again, which a little disappointing, but I have to understand again, you know, there are some things that I really need to address to the students because Sometimes they get a little too comfortable and that's not what I want from my students. I need to teach them discipline as well 
and at a younger age, they gotta learn all those things. So hopefully this upcoming week will be much better. We shall see. And then Thursday afternoon, I went to go play pickup. Um, I played all right. Um, I'm a, I have to apologize to my teammates for my behavior. I know it's just pickup, but sometimes I get a little intense and I get a little competitive. And the guys there that play, they're all competitive. Like we like try to win every game. So sometimes my anger kind of like gets in the way and I let it out on other players if they don't do well or if they make a mistake, which obviously shouldn't be the way to deal with those or deal with those situations. Yeah. I was a little disappointed because I tend to have the personality and audacity to like really like speak my mind to players and sometimes it's a little harsh the tone and stuff that I come at and it's not the best way which I know that it's not good it's just sometimes it's hard for me to really do that and control that so hopefully Tuesday when we have practice again I can make it up you know just keep calm you know at the end of the day it's just a pickup soccer so whatever happens happens just gotta keep balling just get better personally and you know hopefully there are more scrimmages for the team that i really wanted to play i was and then friday chill day i got my haircut as you can see i got my haircut because i have picture day next week and also it's getting a little long which honestly i wanted to keep my split and I asked the barber to cut the middle part or the top a little shorter, which I shouldn't have. I should just kept it long if I want to do the middle part. That's on me. I also did groceries per usual. I think it's just good for me to just have those like errands just out of the way because sometimes it's just too much when I want to on the weekends and I just want to stay at home. So, so that was my Friday. Saturday, I called my friend. We started playing uh, Call of Duty <laughs> on the phone which I used to play a lot with my friends and I stopped for a while because I was kind of getting addicted to it. And after playing Stumble Guys, I was kind of getting tired of it. So I wanted to find a new game that we could play. And yeah, ended up becoming COD again. So we're playing COD on the mobile and it's fun. I'm getting back to it. A little stressful at times, but no, it's good. Like. Oh, I'm enjoying it. It's a great way for me to uh, really kill time. I also have been reading my book, which I'm actually almost done with it. The book, the book is called The One, which I love a lot. It's a great book and people should read it. I know I'm not done yet, but I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, I wasn't a book person, but now I am trying to become one. So if you guys ever had the opportunity to opportunity to read that book i recommend it and yeah that was my saturday sunday morning i worked out did some likes and just chilled relaxed and in the afternoon um i or i uh, actually today i guess i went to go watch my club soccer boys play soccer i wasn't gonna go but one of my former teammates asked me if I wanted to come. I don't have anything to do at home anyways. So might as well get out. Just go support the boys. Which I was a little nervous because they haven't been playing well. And for UConn Club Soccer standards, we should be winning most of our major majority of our games. That's just how we run it at UConn Club Soccer. So it's a little disappointing with the results that they've been getting. But today they got their dub 1-0. Very close game. Could have gone both ways. At the end, they could have scored like another two, three goals. It's just unfortunate that they couldn't get the ball in the back of the net. But hey, that's the game of soccer. I enjoyed it. It was good talking with the team and the former team as well. Just getting to know them. And I also had the chance to like, you know, talk with the parents as well that, play, that have their kids still on the club soccer team. Yeah, no, it was good watching soccer. Yeah, soccer has been like a really fun way for me to just get my mind off of work. And it was good supporting the boys. I'm glad that they won. I was a little worried that they're going to lose or tie. But okay, they proved me wrong. And I'm going to keep supporting them. 
hopefully they make it to regional. So if you guys like this episode, make sure you like and subscribe and peace out.